Hey everyone, Board Game Brody here with Meeple Mountain. I have a little bit of announcement here, a little bit of new game information from Bezier Games. They have a game coming out in October that is their fourth standalone game in this series of the Silver Card Games. It's called Silver Dagger. Going back to the first game called Silver, a 2019 release, this game took on the traditional card game called Golf and tweaked it up, giving the game more life and giving the card abilities to the game, but still with the original objective to shed as many points as fast as possible. Bezier, who is the king of werewolf, also set the theme of this game in a village that's being overrun by werewolves, and the werewolves is represented by the number on each of the cards. While all the cards, five to start with, make up your village, each card has a special ability letting you change up your village, or maybe even your neighbors, but when a player thinks that they have the fewest number of werewolves in their village, they can call for a vote. All remaining players get one last turn, and then cards are flipped up and counted. Turns are simple, as you will draw a card from the deck or discard pile, either discard it to use the power listed on the card, discard it without using its power, or replace one or more of your face down cards with this new card. Replacing multiple cards only happens if they bear the same number on each card, and you must reveal these to everyone to prove it. The second standalone title, Silver Bullet, was also released in 2019, and it comes with 14 new roles and abilities, plus a Silver Bullet. The Silver Bullet is awarded to players when they call for a vote, and they also have the fewest amount of points in that round. Then for the next round they have the silver bullet and it can be placed out on one of their five cards whenever the player would like during their turn. This bullet makes the card unviewable, unmovable by all players including yourself and the card is not scored at the end of the game. So gaining the silver bullet can be great for you during the next round. Silver Coin came third, and it came out earlier this year in 2020. It comes with another 14 new roles and abilities for the game, and the Silver Coin. The Silver Coin is awarded just like the Silver Bullet, but it does something different. As part of your turn, you can flip over your Silver Coin and any single card in any village. This could be a face-up card that another player has, or maybe a face-down card that you have in your village. Now we know a little bit about the fourth standalone game here in this line, Silver Dagger. Just like all the other games, this one comes with 14 new roles and abilities. I know one of them will be changing up the direction of gameplay, which is done by the number 11 Reverser card, and also the Silver Dagger. Zombies will also make an appearance as a number 4 card, and these cards are nearly impossible to discard, even when you're having matching sets. But once they become face up in a village, they are able to be given to the previous player in the rotation, so players will be scrambling for a reverser once their neighbor reveals a zombie. In addition, the number zero deck collector will subtract a point for each card held by your opponents at the end of the game. The halfling can divide your entire score for the round in half. Again, just like the other silver games, you can call for a vote when you think you have the least amount of points to gain possession of the dagger. However, since you have the possibility of gaining negative points with a debt collector, you might not want to call for a vote yourself. And interesting enough, but with a debt collector and a halfling left in your village together, it scores kind of funky. You might score negative points due to the debt collector, but then half of a stated negative number is essentially giving you some degree of positive points, so be careful. Anyways, the only other information I could gain was that the number 9 card is the Mystic Seer, letting you view any two cards somehow, and the number 5 card is the Approximator. Not exactly sure how it works yet, but hopefully we'll find out soon. Also, more time will clarify what exactly the dagger does. Is it built specifically for those zombies so that you can change up turn order, or does it do something else? I absolutely love this game, I'm trying to get a physical copy of most of these to review here on the channel, but you should definitely check them out. Also, if you're interested in what Silver does and what the play is like, you can play it before you buy it. Check out the free app where you can play the game as I play this all the time on the app. Please subscribe to our channel, feel free to comment on this new announcement. Maybe you know something that we don't. Again, this is Board Game Brody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table.